my name is Kim Whitby, I'm an artist and my practice is very much based on drawing. The people at Loxley have sent me some charcoal which over the last couple of weeks I've had a turn with so I'm going to try and edit some film together to show you how I got on with that and um, you can have a little look at uh, how it all went. See you on the other side. I'm going to talk to you this morning about this stuff, which is charcoal. I can remember very clearly when I first had a piece of charcoal in my hand and uh, learned a lot about charcoal and drawing with it. Um, so I've got some charcoal today that's been sent to me by my friends at Boxley, who are um, also the guys that help out when you do contemporary art fairs and carry stuff around for you and very helpfully hold things while you're putting them on the wall. So I'm going to put the camera down so you can see this paper here and we'll have a look at what's in my box. Um, and then this is what I've been um, practicing with with charcoal, but the painting behind is an ink one. And afterwards, I will um, pop a little time lapse on of me translating that ink into a uh, charcoal picture. Okay, so I flip you down now, so you can see my hands and not my face, and you can still hear me talking. Hopefully. Um, so we've got just regular charcoal, which is basically it's wood that's been burnt in a very controlled manner. And then this is a more uh, modern version of it, which is like a compressed charcoal. It just basically looks like a, like a pastel. So that's in there. And, that, and then that's all black, because charcoal is traditionally black. And then there's some um, tonal charcoal. So you'll see that this paper I've got here is, is off white. It's sort of not quite a mid-tone, but it's got some colour on it. Um, when I do a drawing in a minute, I'm going to use white paper. Now we're in lockdown at the moment and uh, art materials are hard to come by but uh, this is lining paper so it came from a high shop. So you can use lining paper which is what I'm going to use but basically you want anything that's, got that's like a sugar paper or a pastel paper. Something's got a little what they call bite in it um, so that the um, charcoal takes to the paper because it's a very dusty medium and that's one of the great things about it. It means that you can put it on, move it around, blend it, fade it out. If you can get hold of one of these, sort of putty rubber they're called, you can take it away. So basically it means that you can um, you can draw with the actual the rubber, the medium, you can go back in, you can change things, you can add, you can be incredibly light. And it really lightly, you can be incredibly dark. Uh, so it's a great way of learning about tone. It's a really useful way of learning about drawing, which is not based wholly on lines. Um, and it's a good way of learning about um, modifying and changing and adapting. <laughs>
I was telling you that I first used charcoal when I was at uh, college, and that was with my first life drawing lecture, Ozzy Osmond, not Osborne, Ozzy Osmond, at uh, Commandment College of Technology and Art. And he um, taught me a great lesson about charcoal, which is, um, well, a great lesson about drawing, basically, which is when you have a piece of paper, the first mark that you make on it denotes position. So, for example, let's say that I'm going to draw my hand, for, for want of something better to do, because I've forgotten to bring something along to draw. And let's say I've got my hand here. Remember, of course, that I'm looking down there, and you're looking in from this side. Uh, so the first mark that you make will denote um, position. So that's my my finger at the top. I mean, not quite, not quite in shot. Let's move down there. So see how flexible it is? You just take it away. Um, so first mark I make denotes position. That's somewhere near the top of my finger. And the second mark that I make denotes scale. So my second finger, and okay, remembering that I'm seeing this in a completely different way to you, will be there. And yeah, with charcoal, can you, you can see what I'm doing. You, 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 almost, you almost pull the picture out of the surface of the paper. A lot of people, they spend a long time with a pencil and they try and get a really, you know, the, the line's got to be in exactly the right place. Well, do you know what? The world isn't made up of lines. We don't all walk around with an outline around us. Um, when you're drawing and painting, you're looking at where, where two planes come together, two surfaces, two different, two different things. So my finger is one and the paper is another. There's no line between the two. It's just where the two pieces meet. Um, so, you know, you draw with your charcoal, you draw with your finger by rubbing away. You might draw with your rubber. I'm hoping that you're starting to see here. And then I'm looking very much here at the moment for the tone of the shadow that's in there and this negative space. And the negative space is the... Is the the shape around the thing that you're trying to, to show. So the gap between there and there is describing these fingers as much as if I tried to go all the way around to show you the shape of the fingers. Now I am going to show you the shape of my fingers and my thumb. But So I've recently uh, picked up some charcoal again, after many years of not really using it. I'd forgotten what a great adaptable medium it is. I can see, you know, exactly why they teach you to do life drawing with, with charcoal. So that great tutor I was telling you about, he was the person that taught me the first mark is, denotes position, uh, the second mark denotes scale. Um, you know, he also was the guy that, that was great at, at telling us, you know, every time you change a line on a drawing, it's not a mistake. It just shows you what you've learnt. When you draw, you have to look. The more you look, the more you learn. And then you change, you change what you thought you saw previously into possibly a more accurate view of what you're, you're actually seeing.
Well, I hope that was useful. I think actually my favourite is just the traditional um, charcoal. I enjoy, I enjoy manipulating that and, and rubbing it and using the, the paper uh, as well as the medium. Um, but uh, I've really enjoyed the last couple of weeks, so have a little try with some charcoal yourself and see if you enjoy it too. Thank you. Bye-bye.